Morning guys. Uh, what are we at Thursday today? Kind of losing track of days. Uh, you had a lot of rain last night, a lot of rain. It was very, very wet. Day three of VQ7, final day today, I want it done. Um, we are literally left today with the power for the amp and the base controller as soon as DPD pull their finger out their arse and turn up with it. And then he's done. I can ring Kenny, give him a shout, tell him his car's ready to go. And hopefully he is impressed with it. I think I'm quite, uh, quite amazed at how the three levels have kind of already improved a solid car. Um, I mean, despite the fact that the door card is a bit plasticky, um, it is still a well-built German car. And Audi's, you know, you, I always, I always joke about what car would I like to have a crash in, you know, because it's well-built and you'd be all right. Um, things like back in the day, you had the Peugeot 106 and little Fiat Cinquecentos. Those cars to me frighten me because I kind of think. There's no, there's no crumple zone, there's no impact protection and everything that that car is made of is soft. Um, and in the event of an accident, you're never going to fare well in it. Whereas you know you're in something big and sturdy, you know. You're going you're gonna to do alright, you've got a better chance. But I'm yeah, still amazed by the difference that the Dynamat has made to the doors in that car and how thick and heavy and solid it feels now and I'm interested to see what it's like driving it. Not that we drive customers' cars, I tend not to. Um, but yeah, day three, get the amp finished, base controller finished, the camera's now done, the doors are now done. Um, we've had a few new people jump on. I see a, a new face this morning, commented, saying he came for the snap-on stuff and stayed for the, the car audio. Welcome, bud. Thank you for participating and at least dropping a comment. Um, means a lot. More of that, everyone. The 50 percenters that are just sitting on the fence, get off the fence and press the damn button. Show your creators some support because it, it helps us out. And the more the more time I've got from YouTube, the less um, the less stressed I get about normal, normal work. So we can do more filming and more fun stuff. Um, I made an appearance quite a few times yesterday in Adam C's video. Me and the chaser and Ferry. It was quite funny. It's always weird seeing your car on somebody else's YouTube channel. <clears throat> but yeah, it's quite quite a laugh. Uh, but I'm gonna get off to work, get coffee, start the day. Um, go from there, really. Other than that, fellas, nothing more to report. We're still at 2526, sorry, 2529. Subscriber count hasn't really changed content still there so go and watch an old video have a have a nice tea break on me go on see you soon right then dudes end of play on thursday now he's done um got his cameras in obviously all three doors sound treated subs are damaged so there's a rattle coming from this box um as soon as you crank it up, got his fast plug fitted, base controller fitted. As soon as you crank it up, there's a rattle. Um, sounds like something's fallen off the back of it. So he's probably going to need some new subs. We've got him the Vibe. We've got him the Vibe base controller. So he's now got that ready to adjust his base. Um, and obviously his camera's in. So all of the bits and bobs he wanted done. Unfortunately, one or two of the rattles. Um, it used to be the case that these ports would fall off and vibrate and I've looked around the ring to see if the ring is loose, but unfortunately Oh, it's that one Yeah, that pink That's it. It's that one there that's broken. Oh, that's a shame. But anyway, so it's done. It does sound loud Probably can't give you a demonstration because my uh, GoPro will either pap itself or YouTube will copyright me. But anyway, it's done. I've got a TV stand as well. Connor's given me a stand for my SIM. Uh, obviously the Xbox is up there ready to go. The SIM is there ready to go. We just need a curved TV. We can have some SIM, SIM driving. But I'm gonna get this out of the way. Wait for uh, 
Kenny to come pick up his new toy. I'm sure we'll hear him later on disturbing the streets. <laughs> Playing low rumbly bass. See you soon. Bye. Morning everyone. The rain has passed. We're left with a nice fresh morning of sunshine. Look at that. Very bright and blue today. So it's Good Friday. So technically a bank holiday, which means most people aren't working. Uh, obviously managed to get the Q7 finished yesterday. So that was picked up from uh, the shop last night. Kenny picked it up. He, he basically blown one of his subs, I think, or he was on about some kind of baffle board being loose in the back of the box. Um, he's going to have to go to Vibe and speak to them about that. Obviously I didn't supply the sub, so it's disappointing to turn it on and then hearing it flapping its uh, nuts off, but not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. But nevertheless, I do have a spare day and I want to go in and get the wheel bolts out of the other wheels, um, get them separated. So that's a job I've got and then back home, spend some time. I've got a weekend off basically, so uh, <coughs> today, Saturday, Sunday and Monday we're off. The girls don't know it yet, we're going to do Easter Sunday tomorrow on a Saturday. The Easter Bunny's coming tonight. And uh, Sunday and Monday we are actually going down uh, to Chessington. World of Adventure, like towards London Way. They've never been, um, so we're going to go down there, stay in the hotel, do two days in the park as a bit of a break. Back to it next week, fun and games. So I'm going to get off to work and I will see you in a bit. Happy Easter, everyone. Morning, boys. So this is where we're at. So I've been polishing and polishing and polishing this rim with my tooling, trying to get it sort of looking good. It's not bad, but I think somebody with the right machine can do it better. So we've still got some pitting marks. We've still got some kind of glazing on the metalwork, which I think will come out through a decent polish. Um, the centre bit, you know, this, this kind of pitting in the chrome here, that's going to happen, but... I think somebody could do a better job of polishing this than I can, so we're going to go and find some metal polishers. But in the meantime, I've got three wheels I need to strip, so we're going to crack on and do that. See you in a bit. Right guys, there we go. So we've got one rim that I've polished, 
three that desperately need attention. You can see the corrosion built up on that. Does not look pretty. That's for damn sure. So we need to sort these out. So we've got three centers, three rims, and obviously uh, other centers over there. So four rooms ready for the polisher. We'll now go and find somebody who's capable with dealing with a rim like this. I don't want to separate the barrel if I can help it, but so be it. If I have to, I have to. But that's it, done and dusted. Uh, Easter weekend now, that's it, I'm finished. I'm gonna pack this up and go home. See you Monday morning, no, Tuesday morning after the holidays. Take care, see you soon, bye.